All right, God bless y'all. Um, I'm going to put a um, part two. This is like my part two, you know, to the uh, to the de Christians can have demons. Okay. Um, basically, only thing I wanted to add really is that I had a dream. This, is, this dream, I'm not going to disclose the people, none of that. Okay. I'm just saying this to let you guys know that Christians can have a demon. And I know this was from God because I picked up on spirits from this individual. And um, in the dream... Um, this particular Christian, okay, had, uh, had demons, okay, they had, like, demons, I think they could have had eight, I'm not sure, but they had demons, okay, um, and, um, when they had, when they had these demons, somebody was like, man, don't you know, man, man, this person got demons, man, this person full of the devil, okay, and I was like, Nah, I didn't even want to believe it in my dream, and when I woke up, I didn't, I didn't know how to believe it because, you know, the Bible doesn't really speak about Christians having demons, okay? So I didn't even really, you know, I didn't know that, you know, a Christian could have a demon, you know what I mean? And um, you know, I mean, I just didn't know, like what? I can't, I don't mean no harm, y'all. I didn't know. I was like y'all, you know, many y'all didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know. And so this person, you know, in my dream, and I know this dream was from God, because it was too, man, this dream was just too over the top. It was like accurate. I mean, it was like, you know, like Satan wouldn't want to give me this kind of dream. And it was just exposing the enemy and his secrets and everything. Like Satan doesn't want you to know that a Christian can have a demon. Like he doesn't want you to he don't want you to think you're okay. He wants you to think you're all right. <laughs> he don't even want you to second he don't even want you to like consider that and even begin to think that you can have a demon. He doesn't he wants you to immediately like, nah, that can't happen. Like you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I had a Christian sister. Okay, let me just stick stick to the script. So anyway, so this person was like, you know, man, this person is full of uh, demons and I was like wow and then um, I, I got it I could read it because I wrote it all down but basically um, um, I just started seeing this person who's a Christian I started seeing them like uh, like like they started convulsing and shaking uh, like, ah, and like made the loudest noise that you could ever hear okay and and Satan ain't gonna show you that. He ain't gonna show you somebody being delivered of demons. He gonna he ain't, he don't want you to know. He don't want you to know. He wants you to think you all right. Satan don't want you to ask for forgiveness. He don't want you to apologize. And and this person, man, you know what? This person, this person did not forgive somebody. They was like, I'm not gonna forgive him. I'm not gonna forgive him. Okay, that's what they were saying. They were like, I'm not gonna forgive this person. And they was wrong. They found out that they was wrong. And they were like, even though I'm wrong, I'm still not going to forgive them. Okay? And they had demons. Okay? And I'm not saying this because I know, but because the dream is coming back. The Holy Spirit is bringing this back to my remembrance. Okay? This is for y'all. This is for me, man. Like, I'm sorry, man. Whoever out there, man, I've, 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 I've wronged. Man, I will publicly call you, man. I, <laughs> I don't want no demon in my life. You understand? I don't want that. I want to be a saint. I want to cast out demons. I don't want to have a demon in my life, okay? I don't want to look at, you know, um, Tyler Banks and, and and look at stuff, lewd stuff and um, Maury Povich and get demons all of me because I'm, you know, engaging with the world and befriending the world and, you know, it's all right and lighten up. You know what I mean? I don't want to be those lighten up Christians, you know, just lighten up. It'll be all right, you know? Calm down. It's not for you. It's okay, you know. We're still saved, you know. Nah, nah. Keep that. Take that. Don't get don't don't come my way with that. I don't want that. That is Satan. Get behind me, Satan. I don't like that. I don't entertain that. That is wickedness. You can have a demon and you can be saved. Excuse me. You can believe you're saved. You can believe that you have the Holy You can have the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is within and so man. Man, you know, I just want to say, like, when God comes into our life, He cleanses us of all of our sins, okay? I'm going to repeat this. All of our sins. But sin is at the door, okay? Okay? 
Satan is asking he, he, he wants to deceive he wants to sift us as wheat he is requesting these things like let me get them okay because there are legal rights Jesus is the advocate that means lawyer we have to understand there's court going on in heaven as it is on earth as it is in heaven man it's a replica of what's going on in heaven okay Jesus is the judge all these judges you see on earth is just a replica okay and they have legal rights because of what you do because of the laws that you break that are sinful they have legal rights, okay? When you do not forgive, when you gossip, when you backbite, when you slander, when you, when you, I'm talking about the little things. I'm asking God to help me, y'all. I'm not saying this to y'all knowing that I'm all right. Like, I'm asking God to help me because there's a lot of gossiping going on in my job and I don't even want to be around it and I don't like it and I always ask God to forgive me because it kind of like slithers in. Man, you know what I'm saying? This stuff is real, you know? And man, it's so easy like to get a demon you understand like it's so easy okay there's a spirit of gossip there's a spirit of slander like there's a spirit for everything you understand every sin okay vanity okay if you if you constantly in them there's a spirit for that there's a spirit for uh if I'm looking at my muscles and you know checking myself out in the mirror like I gotta be careful you know what I'm saying man if I'm taking pictures of it you better believe <laughs> that's a spirit okay that's self worship you understand that's idolatry okay that's idolatry, okay? Um, you're worshiping an image. You know, cast down the imagination that exalts itself above the knowledge of God, man, and bring these spirits under subjection, okay? And bring them captive of, under the obedience of Christ, man. We, 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 we abolish these, man, these demons, man. We, we, we banish all these wicked things, man, okay? And um, there was something else that I wanted to say. Something else that I wanted to say, um, Okay, so, you know, we just have to crucify the flesh, okay? Now, the works of the flesh are different. If you cannot control these spirits, you have a demon, okay? Um, Peter, I believe Peter, when he said, Satan, get behind me, like, Peter had a demon, okay? Satan was using him, you understand? Um... This thing is real, man. It's real. Shh. We got to understand this thing is real. Like, y'all, we got to understand. Okay? We got to get delivered. We got to get saved. We got to get Holy Ghost filled. We have to we have to make sure we have no spots and blemishes. We have to very much examine ourselves, okay? We can't think we're okay. We have to steadily examine ourselves and see if we're in the faith, okay? Lest we be a castaway ourselves when we're preaching the gospel, okay? We have to buffet our flesh, beat our flesh, and bring it to the subjection of Christ. Okay? God bless y'all. I love y'all. I hope, I hope, I don't want to make a part three, man. I hope I got everything out, Lord. Is there anything else? Is there anything else, Lord God? Okay? I just want to emphasize again that sin, once you are delivered, see, Satan, he knows that you're saved. He's going to come at you harder. Okay? He's going to come at you stronger because you've been delivered. You've been cleansed by the blood of Jesus. He's going to try every... Because see, the Bible says that it's better that you've never known righteousness than, 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 to, than, to, um, than to forsake righteousness and, and to reject the, the, the holy commands. Okay, So when you do that, right, Satan knows. He's aware that it is worse for a Christian in hell than it is for a regular sinner in hell. Okay? He knows hell is worse for a Christian. You think that it's going to be just, man, it's going to be worse. The Bible says it's better that you've never even known righteousness. The Bible is trying to tell you than to know righteousness and then to turn away. All right. It's, it's worse. It's worse, y'all. We have to press. We have to strive. It's agony. We have to constantly be humiliated. You know, going up to people, asking them to forgive us. You know, man, it's real, man. I love y'all, man. All right, man. Um. You know, if you have any ought against a brother, like, ask for forgiveness. Um, if you have anything in your heart, just give it to God, okay? Um, you know what I'm saying? Just humble yourself. Repent. Break generational curses. Some of us have generational curses, okay? I want to emphasize that. Some of us have generational curses that we have to get rid of, okay? My father's from West Africa, you understand? They, they practice witchcraft there. My father told me that many of them... You know, they're Muslim, but many of them practice witchcraft before that. Got to break those generational curses, man. 
I love y'all, alright? God bless. Peace.